Well, let's talk about the music for a bit. Tell me, you wrote one of the most recognized and most popular songs, Renegade. How did that come about? I wrote it on piano, believe it or not. Um, you don't want to hear me playing piano, but, <laughs> uh, but I was sitting in my room in Niles, Michigan. I had this upright piano in there, and I just started playing these, these triad chords. It was very kind of dark. Uh, the, and it's the harmonies that you hear in the beginning of the song. And uh, so with my piano skills, that's about as far as I could get. It was just like just the slow part. Um, then I, I started playing it on guitar and I was able to get the verses out and uh, wrote the words down. I wrote all the words there while I was uh, playing it on piano. And actually there was parts and more words than actually got used on the song. But it became a rock song when I took it to the band. And that's what we really specialized in. We, this, we hear, there's a good song in there. What if we do this? And uh, it, it quickly became the song that you hear now. We talked about Lady earlier. Let's talk about Babe. It was a number one hit at the time. Yes, what, it was, absolutely. What, what was the year? That was 79. And that was Dennis, Dennis Young wrote that song about his wife, Suzanne. Surprised it became controversial? I don't really like that soft a ballad personally, but it became a number one single. And it was our first number one across the boards. It Lady would have been a number one single if it had been worked the way records normally are worked, but it, it was number one in every market, but it didn't peak at the same time. So got only number six nationally, but Babe was number one nationally. And uh, it was it was a, it was a, the softest song we'd ever done to that point. So in that in a way for me, who's the hard rock guy, was was controversial. But you know, I had some tough hockey players tell me that it was him and his wife's favorite song. So um, you know, I sort of said, well, we're we're it's not it's not killing this this rock image that we've built. Let's talk about too much time on my hands. That came out when about 80, 81. 81. Right. 81. Have any memories of putting that together? Oh, yes. It, it was near the end of, of production rehearsals before we go in and start recording the Paradise Theater album. And the last day, I'm driving from Niles, Michigan to Gary, Indiana, right? Where were we no, I think that was actually uh, it was near my house in, uh, in the south suburbs of Chicago. That's right. So yeah. it's about 60 miles. Yeah. And I'm driving this black Tornado, one of those road locomotives back then. And I'm thinking, well, you know, it's just not meant to be. And I get about five miles from there, and all of a sudden I hear, and it was like, it's coming, it's coming at me. I've got no, they didn't have iPhones, I didn't have a pencil or paper. So I'm thinking, well, that's kind of catchy. And so as I got closer to the parking lot of where we were rehearsing, uh, I started hearing the other parts, and I was like, come on, come on, come on, let's get there, let's get there, so I'll remember it. And I parked the car, ran in, and I said, Chuck, play this, do, 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 and, uh, so, and when it comes to this part, now go down a step to C. And, uh, and within 10 minutes. It was very quick, yeah. Uh, then I had, and I had the too much time, you know, I had the, the parts, and, uh, Within an hour, we were playing it pretty close to what you hear now. 